Okay, hi. Um, we're going to continue with the uh, the queuing uh, stuff that we uh, that, that I did in the last video, and I want to want to move a little bit to a, a kind of a different approach on shock waves that form in traffic streams. Okay? So um, you know, waves form in traffic when there's a sudden reduction or a sudden increase in the capacity along a highway and you know, a couple of examples that are that are that, that we see every day are uh, you know traffic stopping at a red light. Um, there's shock waves that form in the flow of traffic approaching the red light, uh, and there's also uh, uh, shock waves that form uh, you know when there's a lane reduction. So, for example, in construction zones or when there's a, a you know a, a crash uh, that blocks a lane or something like that. Okay. So the uh, the analogy that we can make uh, is is uh, you know what we talked about before. If we're talking about a, a stream, we can use the the fluid flow analogy. Right? Uh, and there's a there's a the Stokes equation that we can use uh, to uh, to to figure out what the, the 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 velocity of that of that shock wave is in a flow uh, along the along a, a lane. Um, it's based on the balance equation where we know that the, the change in density with respect to time plus the change in flow rate with respect to time, you know, balance. Right? And if we solve that equation, that, that, that um, uh, differential equation, we come out with the velocity of a, of a, of a, of a, of a shock wave. Okay? And it's just the change in, in flow rate with respect to the change in density. Okay. And we're going to use that uh, for our purposes. We have the relationship between flow rate and density. This is the, uh, uh, the quadratic version of it based on Greenshield's equation. Okay. Uh, but let's say we, were, we, we, know, we, we know this relationship and let's say we're, we're in a flow of traffic here. So this is the flow rate and the density okay? at, at a, you know, uh, in a lane we're bopping along. And all of a sudden there's a reduction in flow, maybe a lane closure. And in which case now we find ourselves over here, right? The volume is, is this value and the density is, is uh, higher, lots higher, right? Uh, because there's a constriction. So the shock wave that you see coming at you uh, in the flow, in the traffic stream, is, is can the slope of the line between these two points. And I'm going to give you several examples so you'll see what I'm talking about here. Okay. So now, on page 235 in the Garber-Howell text, um, they give lots of different equations uh, for to, to correspond to the, the various situations uh, uh, the various types of shock waves that you might see. But really, uh, in essence, there's, there's one equation, uh, and that is equation 633, where this, these numbers correspond to the flow rate before something happens, and the, the, the density before something happens, and this is the flow rate and density after something happened. Right. Could be a constriction in the flow. It could be a red light. Uh, could be a could be a, a you know a, an increase in flow. Right. Whatever it is. Okay. Let, let's say we have the uh, um, a red light that happens upstream. Uh, so the wave velocity is the the velocity of those red those red tail lights coming at you. Right. If you're if you're approaching a, a red light at night. You can see the traffic stopping up way up ahead of you, uh, and the, the velocity at which those tail lights are coming at you is the uh, is the velocity of the of the shock wave due to that traffic light. Uh, and if I were to plug in the numbers here for that situation, this is the the information or the the characteristics of my flow before anything happens, and this is the characteristics of the flow at the red light after it happens right so the flow rate is zero and it's a jam density right nobody's moving 
Okay. So if I were to picture this on my flow curve, okay, here I am, right over here, right? So my flow rate and t density are here on the, on the, in my lane. Uh, and when the light goes red, the, 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 the flow rate goes to zero. So the, the, the velocity of those taillights coming at me uh, are given by the slope of this line and this equation. And we'll, we'll do an example here. So let's say we have a stoplight uh, that, that goes on up ahead where on a road that has a flow of 1,000 vehicles per hour, an average speed of 50. The jam density we know on the road is 150, and the, uh, the red phase is, is um, 30 seconds. So we want to know what is the velocity of that backward forming shock wave, that, that wave of, of uh, red lights, tail lights coming at me. And what is the length of the queue at the end of the red light? So more succinctly, uh, we have these characteristics given, and I want to know the shock wave velocity. So the, the operating flow density, the density in the, in the flow is uh, the, the, the flow rate divided by uh, the velocity is 20 vehicles per mile. Okay. So, that's, uh, so now the, the, the velocity of the shock wave is, is my flow rate before the red light goes on uh, minus the flow rate after, which is zero divided by the, the density on the approach before the red light, and then the density at the red light. Right? So this is the velocity of that, of that shock wave traveling toward me. And um, you know, if I want to know what the Q is at the end of red, well, you know, uh, I can find that by uh, multiplying the, the velocity of the, of the Q coming toward me times the, uh, the length of time that the red light is, is uh, in effect. Right? So this is, the, uh, this is the length of the queue at the end of red. <clears throat> this is the velocity that I say it's the shock wave. It's the velocity of the queue forming. Quickly is the queue forming. <clears throat> at the other end, when the light goes um, green again, you know, if you if you're watching that uh, that red light up there up ahead, you can see the tail lights starting to uh, go off, right? Because people are starting to move. How fast is that traveling? How fast does that that those do those released head or tail lights come at me? Okay. So now, if I assume a, a flow rate leaving the light is maximum flow, the saturation flow, uh, and the density is the critical density. Um, then I can um, I can find out what the velocity of those those uh, unlit tail lights coming at me is. So beforehand we have we're at the light, so there's no flow rate and the jam density is is there. Right? But afterward, when the light goes green, um, that's when the, the the vehicles start leaving. The flow rate is is maximum, and the critical density. Uh, Pertains. So if we put those in, the, this is the velocity of that, those uh, lights uh, turning off as, as they come at me. So that, that light, the, that, f that shock wave is, is chasing the other one. So at the beginning of red, if we put this on a sta space time diagram, the beginning of red, we have a shock wave coming at me. The queue is forming at this velocity, it's coming toward me. Okay, at the end of red, we have the, the Q is, is dissipating at this velocity, the velocity of the taillights that are, 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 are going dark, is where the, the, the Q um, dissipates completely. So it's a maximum Q right there. Okay. If I want to find out what that maximum Q is, I'd need to are. I just solve them. This is the, the velocity of the Q forming wave. And this is the uh, velocity of the Q unforming, if you want to talk, uh, talk about it that way, wave. Where those meet, that's the max Q. And the time 
to max is, is just this time. So we could solve this, uh, this uh, uh, graph, um, just a simple triangle. Okay. We know that the slope of this line, or this leg of the triangle is 11.3. The slope of this one is 35.3. I'll, I'll, I'll um, save you the, uh, the, the geometry here involved, but basically once you solve the geometry, this, this distance right here is, uh, is 44 seconds. And the maximum Q is the 44 seconds times the uh, velocity of this of this uh, this leg, 499 feet, and that's it.